Okay, well, let's get started here. So, uh, sorry for the messy table. Yeah, I know. Um, so we'll start with my welding, my welding bag. Like I said, we start this video in my bag. A pair of TIG welding gloves, as you can see. Miller, nice gloves. So you got them. Uh, let's see. Got a stack here of clear lenses and some different shades for some welding helmets. Some clear replacements for my snap-on. Uh, also in my bag I have a box as you can see here and in it I have a gas, two gas lenses for a TIG torch, some tungsten there, back cap, a small pack of tungsten, uh, say another back, short back cap, we got collet bodies, collet body, uh, plasma cutter ends, some other little, you know, stuff. So, let me put that over there, I guess. Um, something else, because I like using my own, uh, um, electrode holder. So, there's two types of dense connectors. They're small and large, pretty much. So, this is an adapter here. It's a small top to a large top. And the reason why is because my uh, electrode holder has a large top connector. So, I have this where if I go to a place where I'm welding and they have a small top on a machine, I put this on there and screw it in and it works just fine. So that's the small top connector. And pretty much the reason why is because my welder has a small top connector. That's one main reason. Uh, electrode holder, like I said, large top connector, goes in, small top, or goes in, twist, locks in, that's large to small. Um, Electrode holder on it, on it is not really bad wore out. It's off of an old Miller. So it's pretty dang good. Electrode holder. Um, see, uh, this is actually a ground clamp. Small one. It's a 200 amp ground clamp. I just ain't got it on a wire. Matter of fact, the wire for it is actually right here. This bag, I gotta put it on there here in a little bit. And then it'll be in my bag. I also have a magnetic ground clamp works pretty decent I don't too much care for them anymore because pretty much I never had the clamp um, the main thing I have in my bag here is a TIG torch of course small top I don't have a large top small top connector if I go to a shop and I have to use my TIG torch and they don't all I do is I'll take this I'll take these two plastic pieces off here and I'll stick that in there and it'll clamp down on the little lead and there you go. Put some electrical tape around it. Um, it's just a standard TIG torch. You know, it's not flexible. It's, I don't call it a small top, but I don't really call it a large top. It's got the opening gas valve. I keep my own regulator pre-fitted to it. I prefer my own. Um, we're going to start moving stuff off this table here. So, uh, Next thing I keep in my bag is a... Welding apron. Um, I keep this pair of stick gloves in here. These are my best ones. Uh, these are, I believe, I'm not sure exactly on the brand anymore. Uh, they're Hobart. They're pretty decent gloves. I actually like them. I've had them probably about a good year and a half. They're not wore out. They're not burnt. I got some little burn spots. Sorry. I got a little bit of burn spots, you know, when we're wearing tear, they're not stiff or anything. These are really decent pair of gloves. If these right now are to catch on fire, I'd have done got my money worked out and I'd go buy another pair. Then I got this pair. Um, this is actually a cheaper pair of welding gloves. They're still really comfortable. They're just as comfortable as these right here, but they're not as thick. So if it's hot outside or something, I'll wear these. Uh, you know, they're decent gloves. Um, let's see. Next thing I got in here is a old pair of MIG gloves. Well, yeah, they're MIG gloves pretty much. Uh, they're just leather gloves. I use them now for metalworking, as you can see. Hole in the finger there. Doesn't much, do much good for, uh, welding, but these were, uh, black stallions. These are, these were a good pair of gloves. I'm gonna give me another pair of them as soon as I can find them. Uh, second thing I keep in my bag is a rod holder. 
the clip on the back of it broke, so I've got one of these deals. Um, let's see, glove wise, I don't have all my gloves in here. Actually, I lost one. I think it's in my truck. I got these, some, you know, uh, M gloves as you can see. There, decent metal working gloves. I've also got these. I'm not sure what they are, but they're really comfortable on the bottom. And then I got these True Fit ones. Uh, this is the one I got the other part of my truck. It's a Tillman glove. And those are some really decent gloves, really. Um, tungsten package. Tungsten's actually in that box. I don't know why I got that in there still. Uh, I don't have a welding jacket in here. Or like a yeah, welding jacket. But I actually do have welding knee pads in here. That's not something everyone has, but I have them. Just you never know. Um, believe it or not, I actually have a pair of welding vice grips in here. Um, let's see, I keep. I'm not gonna pull them all out, but I keep four triangle magnets in here. Uh, I actually keep welding rods in here. I've got a welding rod keeper, and in this welding rod keeper. I have some 1 8th uh, 7018's Lincoln Electrics there and I believe these are my specialty rods yeah these are uh, 5 64th uh, rods I'm not sure what they are it's been too long um, but I'll do a comparison here I don't know if y'all could there you go. That's the diameter of them. That's how much difference is. There's a big difference in them. Um, and they're really decent rods. They're not very cheap. Um, or at least I ain't found a really a cheap place to buy that brand of rods. And I'm not sure on the brand either. It's been a long time since I bought them. I had probably been a good year or so. Then I have a package of Hobart 7018s. 330. 332 in there. Oh, that's it. We're gonna focus. Might be too much light. Yeah, it's too much light in here. And I'm sorry again for the video quality. I will be getting a better camera, but it's all I got right now. I've got a welding hat. It's a leather one. Um, something else. Someone, not everyone has. I have an angle grinder. It's a Black and Decker cheap angle grinder. I got a flapper disc on there right now. I just I like to have my own in there. You never know. Uh, this is this is actually the rod holder that replaced that one I was showing you that broke. This is a Wells coat had a metal clip on it and had plastic. This is my new one. I just have that other one in there. You never know when you're gonna need two different types of rods. Um, and for another video, I ain't done the video on it yet, but I'm gonna do a rod comparison of some different uh, brands of rods. And these are some uh, Harbor Freight rods. Uh, they're actually, I welded a little bit with them. I'm not going to talk a whole lot about them. But they're actually really decent rods for being from a Chinese, everything Chinese store. They're just as good as Hobart or any of them other ones, really. Um, I ain't done like a weld test or anything. I keep uh, some adapters for angle grinders in there. Also keep big wire wheel. Along with that, I keep a metal trapping hammer. I like the straight this style, this style blade where it's flat compared to the one that looks like that. I need to get the slag out. Um, I keep another. This is a wire cup. I don't know what you call it. What you know what you call with all the bristles and stuff, but it's a wire cup. I have another one here as well. Another wire cup. This has got the twisted wheel on it, you know, twisted braids on it, said the straight ones, or whatever you call it. I'm not sure. If someone knows what those are called, leave it in the comment, please. Uh, a very crappy electrode hudder. I really don't know why it's in there, but it's in there. Um, close to the end. Uh, see, I keep another. Our brush, this one's smaller than the other one. 
and I keep a cutoff wheel for a grinder in there as well. And I do believe that is everything. Um, so you know, uh, thank you for watching my video. Um, I hope to get some actual welding videos up here pretty soon. I'm having to wait to get 220 in my shop to run my new welder. I actually have two 220s already in my shop, but they already got weld other welders on them, and I really do not want to pull out the welders just to hook another one up, you know. So uh, I will be doing that, and when I do this, I will be making a new series of uh, what you need for beginner welders, welders on a budget of $350 or less. And uh, so, you know, that would be a good series to start out with. So, uh, yeah. See you next time.